Hello everyone, my name is Fox. In this video, we're going to show you a short how-to on how to get the GeForce app quickly and easily installed within the game mode portion of the Steam Deck. This is alarmingly simple through the script that NVIDIA provides. You just go through their short link to a GeForce Now link, which will just get you to the GeForce Now landing page. You'll scroll down, click a button, extract a script, run it. It'll install Chrome if you don't have it installed already on your Steam Deck. If you already have it installed, it'll skip that and just go ahead and embed the GeForce Now app in the non-Steam portion of your Steam Deck which you can just go ahead and go ahead and log in. So very simple, we'll show you how to do that. We'll show you some samples of how this actually looks. By and large, this is very impressive from a streaming application type of thingy. xCloud is neat and it's included in your Game Pass subscription, so the value of that is very good. However, there have been many times when there is very obvious image degradation and catching up to bitrate after the image degradation falls is noticeable. Whereas I have noticed brief hitches here and there, but it instantly catches back up. So it's just kind of noticeable breaks that I have noticed. But as you can see in here, we are doing cyberpunk. And this is basically cyber, uh, ray tracing max settings with DLSS3. So frame rate is fine, but we basically have a 4080 in the cloud that is streaming over and going to here. And it really is quite literally the best streaming service that is available right now. It would have to be a fee on top of that. However, before we get into the how-to of it, I wanted to just quickly mention that you're not going to have every one of your games available to you. So I have roughly 10,000 games on Steam and only like 800 or 700 or so are available on GeForce Now of that 10,000 list. So not every game that you have. It is cool, however, that if you have Game Pass, anything that is on Game Pass, or I would say anything, but a large portion of it that is there. I actually played Starfield. I don't own Starfield on Xbox. I own it on Steam, but I played the Xbox version through Game Pass over GeForce Now, which is very cool. So having that ability to kind of also have your PC in the cloud being your whatever supercomputer that is your NVIDIA's latest G the GPU that is in the cloud that can also leverage Xbox Game Pass PC that's pretty cool. So you can do a bunch of things. I'll show you really quickly the types of uh, availability that you have. Now, I've been downloading a bunch of different games on Ubisoft, so I only have that a few games on there, as well as Epic Games Launcher. So I do have a lot of games available on GeForce Now, but it's not the same amount that I would have natively available to me if I were to install it directly on a PC. So you're not going to get everything there, so just keep that in mind when you are looking at this particular service. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get you into the how-to so you can see just how simple this process is and what it affords you. Alrighty, let's get to the how-to of getting GeForce Now on your Steam Deck within game mode very easily. Thankfully, NVIDIA provides this service for us and makes it far more straightforward. If you didn't realize, what you're looking at right now is video out from the Steam Deck to my capture card. So what we're looking at is the game mode presentation of the Steam Deck. So if I press the B button, out comes the Steam menu. Likewise, we can go into the Quick Access menu or the Cram button. Very quickly, just so you can see, I am running the latest version of SteamOS 3.5, so this is 3.5.19. What we're going to go ahead and do, we're going back to the game mode portion of this, we're going to go ahead and press B. We're going to go to Power, and we're going to go to Switch to Desktop. This is going to get us to the desktop mode of the Steam Deck. This is going to be a one-time instance that we have to do this. Give it a second for my capture card to reconfigure the desktop so that we can get an output from that. Okay, now that we're in the desktop mode, you should have a screen that's something similar to this. Now, if you have different icons and it's not one-to-one, -one, don't worry. These are just the games that I have installed on my Steam Deck. If you have different games installed on your Steam Deck, you should see the icons for those. Or if you have nothing installed, you shouldn't really see much of anything except return to gaming mode or the Steam icon. Now, what we're going to take a look at is the bottom left portion of the screen. Now, you may have a Firefox logo here if you have not already installed Chrome. I already have installed Chrome, but don't fret. The script that NVIDIA will provide to us will automatically check for Chrome to be installed before doing anything else. So if you have Chrome installed, it'll just go right along. If you don't have Chrome installed, it'll install that first before doing any further steps. So with that out of the way, we're going to go to the browser. And what you're going to do is you're going to go on your Steam Deck and you're going to hold the Steam button down. And you're going to press the X button at the same time. So hold Steam and press X. And what that does is it brings up your keyboard. At that point, you're going to want to type in this link. So let me go ahead and do that for you right now. Okay, so it's gfn.link forward slash download. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now we are on the GeForce Now landing page. So what we're going to do, you could on your Steam Deck just use the touch screen to scroll through this web page. But you can also use the left analog stick to just scroll down. For me, I have to do it because I can't see anything on my device. So just scrolling through, it's not going to be very helpful. We're going to go past desktop and laptop, mobile and tablet, and we're going to stop at gaming handheld devices. 
Now, it says Steam Deck Beta, get started. Let's read what it has to say. It says, are you on the correct device? We certainly are. Please confirm that you are on the Steam Deck to continue with the download. Otherwise, visit gfn.link forward slash download on your Steam Deck in desktop mode, which we are right now. It says, click download below to continue. A script will be downloaded to your device that will install a GeForce Now app into your Steam library, available in gaming mode. Once downloaded, extract and click on the script to execute it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to click download. It went ahead and downloaded the GeForce Now. We're going to go over here. In case this goes away on you, go ahead and just press this little button over here. And we're going to go to the open folder window. And we have this. So we're going to go ahead and extract this. I went ahead and removed myself. So we're going to go to extract, extract archive here, auto detect subfolder. And there you go. Let me get myself back. <laughs> I'm back. All right. So what we can do here is you can just go to this directory. And to get to there, you're just going to double tap with the right trigger, basically left mouse click. And now we're going to see the GeForce Now setup button. So we're going to go ahead and double click on that. And we're going to go ahead and say execute. Uh, yes, we trust it. So go ahead and just say yes. Okay, it says running GeForce Now setup, adding to Steam. Now, if it didn't see Chrome for you, it should auto install Chrome for you. But I already have Chrome, so it's already detected that and went ahead and started doing all the stuff to uh, affix itself to Steam so that we can get to it within the gaming mode side on the Steam Deck. So at this point, we'll wait for the script to stop. All right, so it opened up Steam. It says NVIDIA GeForce Now is set up and ready to go. To start playing, return to gaming mode. Navigate to non-Steam games in Steam library. Launch GeForce Now. So let's go ahead and do that. What we can do, this is still inside of desktop mode, so we're going to go ahead and close that. We can close this. We can close that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on return to gaming mode. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll wait for it to get us back into gaming mode. All right, so now we're back in gaming mode. What we're going to do is we're going to press B. We're going to go to library, and then we're going to go to non-Steam. You can get to it by pressing the LBRRB, the bumpers on the Steam Deck itself. You may be on great on deck or on installed games. You can see non-Steam here. Now, I've already installed Google Chrome via this link. So it's already on the Steam Deck, and how many people are going to have Chrome already on your Steam Deck? But in case you didn't, this is pretty much going to be the way here you get Google Chrome. You can see that I have NVIDIA GeForce Now here, and this is all done through the script. So I'm going to go ahead and and just click on that and click play. At this point, as you can see right over here, now I'm blocking that part out. I'm blocking out the QR code as well as the numbers. But on your side, you will see that. So you can use another device to easily log you in to your NVIDIA account or your GeForce Now account. All right, so here we are in GeForce Now, and I've already connected all of my accounts to GeForce Now. So that's my Ubisoft account, my Steam account, Epic account, and as well as my Xbox account. The thing that's here is that I don't have all of my Steam games on here. I have close to 10,000 Steam games, and I only have around 700 or so that are available on GeForce Now. So a small percentage of games that I have now, that's just because I have a bunch, so it's not going to have everything there. But let's say Starfield, right? So we're going to go, and I have two different ways that I can do it. Let's say Xbox, okay? I'm going to try Xbox. Now, I don't own Starfield on Xbox. I only have it through Game Pass. So let's go ahead and say play and see what happens and how it actually does it. Because on Steam, it's understood. It's the license for the game on Steam. But on Starfield for Xbox, it's only through Game Pass. All right, so right now it is syncing my data to the GeForce Now side of the cloud. One thing that I wanted to mention here that I think is worth pointing out while this is doing this in the background is that to connect to the Microsoft side of stuff, uh, all of the prompts that were coming up, what I had to do is I had to use the right touchpad that was on the Steam Deck itself, and then I would have to move that over to a cursor field and then tap on the on the field before it would accept an input. No, nothing I can't do. Right trigger, left trigger, tapping on the touchpad itself. Nothing was working, and then just using my finger to tap the screen wasn't as an acceptable input either. So I had to use both for them to go through. Entering my name to just uh, sign in, I had to go through the cursor method that way. Thankfully, I could just do the Steam and X to bring up the keyboard to just kind of tap that out real quick. So that was easy enough as well. Uh, but that's just something that I wanted to mention to get into this part. But again, this is pretty cool because this is Game Pass. I don't technically own the game on Xbox, but I am leveraging Game Pass to play through GeForce Now, right? GeForce Now. I do have the GeForce Ultimate Experience, so I am basically using a GTX 4080 in the cloud. So we're going to see how well this actually works. All right, I'm just kind of testing out GeForce Now for a bit. And you can see right there, there was just a brief hitch. Now, that's not terrible. I've seen worse on Xbox xCloud, but xCloud 
is included with your Game Pass subscription. So this would be a fee on top of it. You saw another pause right there. Again, not terrible. On xCloud, what you would see would be like a, a, a hitch and then followed by image quality degradation before that actually caught back up bitrate wise and streamed better. I have noticed a few hitches here and there. So still typical streaming problems that you would have. But truth be told, this is a really good streaming solution in terms of how much like latency wise it feels pretty good. Um, I still would rather play natively. But if you were the type of person that really wanted to get in on cloud and just have a cloud type of interface, this is pretty impressive. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at just my Steam games and see how that is for launching. All right, so here we are in Cyberpunk. And just so you can see the settings that I'm using here, I basically just maxed out every setting I could. So we are doing effectively ray tracing overdrive mode. The only difference here is that I am enabling DLSS frame generation. So that's pretty much it. And it runs reasonably smooth. Very impressive. Ooh, there's a little bit of artifacting going on right over there. What in the world is that? Interesting. Curious. But still, very impressive. So if you wanted to get GeForce Now set up very quickly on your Steam Deck, totally possible. This is by far the best cloud streaming service that you can possibly get. The bigger package here, the ultimate package, gives you a 4080 in the cloud and gives you capability of pushing some very impressive visuals through the interwaves. All right, so I think that'll do it for this particular video. A special shout out to my YouTube channel members as well as my Patreon subscribers. Your support really does mean the world to me, so I really do appreciate it, guys. I hope this video was informative. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.